I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this costume. Um, pretty pumped about it, I have to say. And I hope you guys have a great Halloween, and I hope this helped anybody out there who wants to do this look. I try to keep it as close to the movie as possible. She has several different makeup looks throughout the movie, so um, this is just kind of an, an amalgam of all of them. Um, basically just the red and brown under the eye, the corpsed out lips, but still with the definition with the taupe around the edges and shadowing in. Um, then we have the cool tone contour going on in our temple and in our temple and our cheekbone, um, contoured the nose, um, contoured the shadow up into the eye, um, dark brown eyeshadow, um, soft liner, and soft black eyebrows. So that's basically all it is. So you could take this to a lot of different levels. You can ride up your hair even more than this, which I might on the day of. You can definitely like tease it out and make it super, super big, which I might do on the day of. But basically you got the idea. You're bobby pinning these up in two sections, making sure your hair is curly and fingerless gloves and rolling pin. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. I think this is probably the last video I'm going to do until after Halloween because I'm going to be gone all weekend. I'm going to the MIP Giants concert with my family. Um, we're going to a haunted house and we're going to be doing lots of Halloween related activities. <laughs>um, no yellowness coming through, no red, no pink, no anything. So you are going to want to be as pale as possible and the green color corrector is going to help you get there. So I mean if you have any green color corrector that would be fine or if you just want to conceal with a really light concealer to cover up any redness that's up to you what you want to do and what you have available. Now you can use white eyeshadow for this. I've seen People use white eyeshadow pretty effectively with um, white face makeup, um, but I'm just using my, my Ghostly Pallor White Mineral Foundation. Um, it's really good for theatrical makeup and I made it to be completely matte and completely white, so um, it makes a good base for this kind of makeup. Yeah, it's an opaque white. And both characters in this movie have that kind of a white skin. Like I looked at the pictures and they are completely blanked out. I actually donated some of this um, foundation to this charity that is um, anti-bullying charity for um, for gay for gay boys. Um, they are going to do a fashion a Lady Gaga fashion show, and I think they're doing some. Marie Antoinette look, so they really wanted to use um, the white foundation for that. So I will have pictures up when they have their fashion show. They're using um, my contouring powder too, and I gave them some stuff for an auction basket to raise money, so I'm pretty excited about that. I can't wait to see their pictures. It's going to be cool. Um, for the hair, actually what I did I probably will take it farther on the day of, but um, what I did is I just I left my hair really bedhead messy, and I put it up into two pigtails, kind of twisted them around, and just attached them up on my head with bobby pins, and kind of left the ends hanging down. I have naturally wavy curly hair, so if you don't, you might want to curl your hair prior to doing that, but that's really all I did for it. You can see there, my hair sprayed it. Um, she's got like these two bumpy sections in the movie and then she just has it hanging down. So it's really simple to do. I, I'm not good at hair tutorials or else I would do one, but um, I'll probably link one in the down bar if I find someone that has done a Mrs. Lovett hair tutorial because I'm just really bad at explaining hair stuff. I'm just using the um, e.l.f. Studio Concealer Pencil and we're going to get that on our lips. We want to blank out any color we have. I 
I guess if you have like a really light nudie lipstick, like Natural Note from Elf or something, that would probably work. I just like concealer because it's um it's very opaque. Let me check and make sure that's not streaky. I'm just gonna blend that in with your finger. We don't have any um streaky marks. Um just put some primer on your lids. You can get it all the way up here and a little down here. We're going to be doing eye makeup all around the eye area, not just on top this time. Before this, I think we are going to mix these two colors together. We're going to mix this red brown right here and this dark brown right here. We're going to mix those together for our eyeshadow, for our, our lid shade. So just mix those two together. I'm using a flat shader brush to avoid any fallout. And we're just adding that on. Kind of line the lower lash line. It's okay if we have fallout, we'll fix it. That's what happens with cheaper eyeshadows, you will have some fallout. I'm taking Urban Decay Shakedown, which is just a really nice matte taupe color. And we're blending up and into um, the inner socket here and up into our eyebrow. blends it out with a little bit of gray. I'm just using that Urban Decay Revolver shade. And we're going to blend that into the upper part of that contour. Yeah, she definitely blends it out with a little bit of gray. Almost to the top of the brow bone, but we're going to leave um, right in the arch white. I'm going to go in with some matte white up in the very arc here, right at the very top, it's a thin line in it, like that. Her eyebrows are pretty black, but I wouldn't say they're pure black, it would be like a soft matte black, maybe almost like a deep, deep gray. So um, I think this black will work really well since it's not fully pigmented. We're going to use that in our brows. But any matte, kind of softer black color will work. And she has the very arched and pointed in the center. So just focus on that kind of angled arch in the middle. Yeah, we're just going to go up at a point like this. And then back down. Fairly thin. I'm going by picture too, I have a picture in front of me in the movie. I'm going to take a lip brush. She has um, kind of like a brown lip line around the end, edge of her lips. And we're just going to line underneath our lips. Just with the lip brush. it into your lips a little bit too because we're creating shadowing if you can do that there. kind of soft around the edges. Kind of blend it in. Here. And this part of the lip. 
Can I wear the natural shadow be at? Okay. Go back in with the concealer a little bit. And blend it in. I'm trying to get as accurate to the movie as I possibly can. Because um, I'm freaked about that stuff. Take um, a cool toned contouring powder. I'm just using my Oak Bark one. It is um, just the shade of a natural cool shadow on the face. It's like a taupe color. So you can use a taupe eyeshadow as well if you want to. It's totally up to you if you want to do it. I want all the focus of this to be on the outer cheekbone. You want it to be pretty strong. Make sure they're even. And it's okay if it's really strong when we'll blend it in. This is how I want it. So we want it to be pretty strong. You want to do your makeup way stronger than you can really need to, especially for the the new liner for it to be beautiful on the distance. So it kind of like drag makeup a little bit. Like you want it to be way over the top. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the kabuki and just kind of chisel into my neck area a little bit, like under the jawbone. We want to look as hollowed out as we can. She's definitely more gaunt looking than I am. In her neck. And as I said, if you're doing the tutorial, uh, if you're doing this for Halloween, you're going to get into your neck area as well with the light. Okay. In the um, eye kabuki from Everyday Minerals, and we are going to just lightly contour the nose area, kind of into the socket. So bring it down like this. And then underneath if you want. And then we're gonna get under here as well. And then under the under eye area. I really like how this stuff really mimics the natural shadow really well. But I need any taupe color will work. I just think this is easier to blend. Okay, she definitely has some red, some matte red underneath her eyes and into her um, under eye circle. So I'm taking Moriarty from the Dastardly Deeds collection. So if you have this shadow, that's great. If you don't, just use a matte, a matte red color. And we're taking the Elf Contour Brush. get that into those areas. So down and over. And you can take the eye cubic brush again if you want and just blend it in. Matte kind of peach color and off peach color. I'm going in under the eye for a little bit. Kind of a sallowy peach color. That brown color from the 100 eyeshadow palette again, the really dark matte brown. And we're going to get right in our lash light. Okay, I don't know if I like the eye shade quite enough. I think I'm going to go in with um, Twice Baked. By Urban Decay, I want a deeper brown. Yeah, this is gonna look better. Some of the area. 
little bit of liner on her upper lash line. So I'm just going to take um, Urban Case Perversion because I want to keep this kind of soft still. I don't want it to be like a liquid liner or anything like that. And we're just going to get a thin line going on the upper lash line. It really isn't about her wearing makeup, it's about her looking kind of dead and unmade up, if that makes any sense. Like it's supposed to be like natural gaunt shadows because she doesn't you know, she doesn't take care of herself. She lives in a pretty, pretty rough part of London. Um, basically, she is working class, and like towards the end of the movie, she has more um, elaborate costumes and things like that because she she's more successful with the business because of Sweeney, and uh, apparently people like to eat people in pies. That makes her successful, so. Uh, okay, and we're just going to do a little bit of mascara, and again, we want this to be more of a natural, I know this is not a natural look, but she doesn't wear like false eyelashes or anything like that. So we're just taking a little bit of Urban Decay's Perversion on a fluffy brush, and we're just going to go over that brown color, just to deepen it slightly. And to create more like an ashy brown, which is what we want. And that's it. That is the look. Um, it's not that hard to do once you um, have the white base makeup down um, and you know how to contour. It's really not that hard to do. And then you want to finish it off with some lace gloves. I got the fingerless kind. And I really, what I loved about this costume is that it had the lace detailing on it like she has on her sleeves. So it's very similar to the dress she wears in the beginning of the film. Um, you don't have to have the exact dress. Um, just kind of focus on like Victorian kind of um, street wear. Like I don't know if it's street wear, but like commoner kind of wear. 